you don't deserve to go to the gym. And what I mean by this is in my previous video, I talked about how there are some people that have been going to the gym, like same time as me, roughly. Like I've seen them going to the gym, maybe even before me, who knows. But I see that I've seen them in the gym when I first started, like what, October, which was like six months ago, five months ago, something like that. I've gone from like a bulk, like oh, bulky to like now I'm starting to get skinny. Like now when I look in the mirror, I'm like, damn, like <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a stick right now. That's how I feel. And then these people still look the exact same. So what I'm trying to say is you don't deserve to go to the gym unless you can make progress by yourself doing body weight exercises. Don't even waste money. Don't even waste money on a gym. Do push-ups. If you can't even increase your push-ups from like 10 to like, I saw this guy. And this is not me like shit talking, but I'm just like, what are you doing? Is that he was like, I don't know, I think he started his workout and he was doing push-ups. The push-up form isn't even correct. It was like, I, it was horrible. It was genuinely horrible. It like, it hurt my eyes to see such a bad push-up form. And it's like, brother, what are you doing in the gym? There's, there's underlying things you need to fix first. And if you can't even do a proper push-up, at least, not even 10, like 10 reps is like nothing. At least like 30 reps, good 30 reps push-ups don't even worry about the gym that might sound rude like oh gatekeeping the gym but like bro i'm trying to save you time and money because <laughs> you're going to go to the gym and you're still not going to like drill it into your head like you're not going to understand the process of actually improving in like physically until you understand that process when you when you understand that process should i say then the gym is just like natural it's like okay this is just another way i can progress that's what happened to me. I was doing calisthenics and I, I progressed. I didn't make as much muscle as I could have. And, you know, there was other things with that. By the time I, like, actually started going to the gym, I'd been doing calisthenics for, like, over a year, roughly. Yeah, over a year. Almost actually two years, to be honest. And I, at that point, it's like, okay, it's pretty obvious, like, what I have to do. It's kind of just natural. Like, okay. It's just like, okay, instead of doing, like, an extra rep of, I don't know, pull-ups or something or trying it harder or a different progression or whatever, just a little bit extra weight or whatever. But again, if you don't understand that underlying stuff and you can't make any significant, if you can't make a significant change by yourself at home, brother, you're not going to make any significant change at the gym because the, the environment doesn't matter. It's your behavior. It's your actual like attitude. It's your mentality to it. So if your mentality is not there and you can't, there's no way you can have that mentality in a, only in a specific environment. So this is, this is what I mean by you don't deserve to go to the gym. Likewise, a big tip I'll say to anyone that's just like not making any progress is how much you're eating. Honestly, that is the thing that I know just differentiates people is that how much are you eating? And are you eating enough? Like genuinely, if you're a stick, you need to eat, bro. Like you need to eat your burgers and you can be like, oh, but I eat so much, this and that. Or track it. Track your food because there's no way, there is no way that you're eating enough. If you're not eating enough, again, just start tracking it and then you know, you don't have to go crazy. Like, let's say you're only eating like 2,000 calories and you need to eat 3,000. That's going to be hard to eat an extra 1,000 calories. But, you know, so let's go 2,300, 2,400. And then maybe like if it's starting to really get hard, then think about like, okay, what foods am I eating? What foods can I change to be a little bit more calorie dense? And start thinking about this kind of things like, okay, you know what? How, how about I have a smoothie? Because smoothie is way easier to digest than like a thousand calories of like meat like a thousand calories of meat is going to be very hard to digest a thousand calories of smooth like of a smoothie you can drink that shit in like five minutes obviously like that's bad like you shouldn't drink in five minutes but you can that's what i'm saying a steak there's no way you could eat a thousand calorie steak in five minutes it's literally impossible genuinely impossible again i would say it wouldn't even hurt to do a dirty bulk or not even a dirty bulk like like a slightly dirty bulk let's say your calorie goal is 3,700. That was what I was eating. And eventually, yeah, it was like 3,700. Some day, like some days, I would not be able to hit that like purely through like mostly clean food. Sometimes you need to add in that Macca's burger, that Macca's like ice cream and stuff. And look, you got to do what you got to do. And trust me, if you're training hard enough and when you're eating that much, you should have the energy to train hard. That's the only thing after that. Like if you train hard, sure, you are going to gain fat that's what happened to me you are going to gain fat but guess what like I, I can't explain it but like when you see like a genuinely fat person and like i can't explain this when you see a fat person after you've like done a bulk and trained you don't actually see them as fat you see them as skinny it's weird to explain this but you realize like okay fat skinny it doesn't really matter they still have no muscle that's the thing like most fat people 
do not have any muscle or very little amount of muscle. Typically only in their legs because that's what like that's what they're walking on. So like carrying all that weight, that's actually like an exercise for them. But typically there's very little muscle actually built. But when you when you're eating a lot, sure you'll get like you're not gonna be like veiny. You're not gonna be like sexy anymore. But bro, if you're training like lats, you're gonna see like damn, like it's not just like straight. It's gonna be like a slight like curve to it. It's like curve to your shoulder. That's the muscle. That's what happens. And again, there's little no regret. There, there won't be any regret. I remember I was scared. I was like, oh no, like, you know, I'm, I don't know. Like I wasn't like lean or anything, but like, I don't know. It's scary. Like, oh, I'm going to be fat. I'm going to like, I'm going to lose the slight abs that I have. Like, it's not even like you have abs, but you're scared, still scared of losing it. It's worth it. It's hundred percent worth it. And I can't even explain this. The, the amount of compliments you'll get it. Like it, it's, it's like good and bad you'll get a lot of people saying like, whoa, like it's completely different. And for you, like you don't really see it, but like people see it, especially if they haven't seen you for a while. I remember I didn't see, yeah, I didn't see like a group of friends for months. The, like when I came back and like, you know, when they saw me for the first time, insta- I didn't do anything. I just wore a shirt. Like I just wore like a black shirt, like something like that where, but you know, like it fills my arm and it's not even like a, sm- it's like a medium, you know, like I'm a, I'm a size medium. People want to be like, whoa, this guy, like what's, what, what happened to you? That's what they're going to do. And it's good. At one point you will get kind of tired of it. You will be like, uh, it's a little bit like too much. It's a little too like vain and stuff. And then, but don't worry. Like people eventually stop like really saying anything, but I'll tell you the initial like boost. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Anyways, if you want to help support me, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Helps me out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.